All right, welcome back. So yeah, basically, see, uh, no heating call, 90% furnace. There's feces everywhere. I mean, no, literally. I'm not sure what that is, but maybe wear my mask down here. Uh, this is what people have to breathe in because look, filtration. This is <laughs> anyway. So you can hear a pressure switch literally not properly making. What I'm going to do real quick, I think it's this one here. That's going to be our drain switch. This is empty. For our condensate. It's empty. I like to prop I like to you know see what's causing the issue. I mean we could go through and just tinker with stuff until we get it until we figure it out until it stops doing what it's doing. But I'm just gonna go ahead and see if we can get an idea of what's going on with it. Let's put this on voltage actually. I'm gonna put one on the ground here. Um, that's fine. Twenty-seven volts there. As you can see, we got coming into the switch. Now let's see. This might not be a fast enough meter. Oh, that's fast enough. See it? So what that's doing is you, it's not fast enough to really catch the drop, but you're catching the average voltage as it's dropping. So that right there is the switch that's our problem. So we know this is the this is for the. This is a drain switch, so more than likely that, that um, condensate drain is just backed up. So I'm going to go ahead and do now. Let's unplug it. You hear that thing? Yeah, it is. It's backed up. You can hear it gurgling. Uh, <clears throat> I hate when people put the PVC so deep in here where you... First of all, sometimes that causes it to not be able to drain because it gets water locked. Second of all, come on, man. You only have to put it in a quarter inch, maybe a half inch. Why did he, why? Now when it's time to take the pan, the, the thing out, it's virtually impossible. Um, oh, wow. Matter of fact, this is completely disconnected, actually. So what we're gonna do? It's not even connected down there. Not sure what that's about. Uh, okay, so what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna try to pull that trap down off of there. Now it's gonna fire up. See the hot surface igniter? So I've just got my finger on that hole. What I'm gonna do, 
prime this trap up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um let's cut that off actually. Oh wow. That would have been my prime right there, wouldn't it have? That was actually probably just clogged. Let's take a look here at this. Let me see what we got here. Yeah, that's clogged. Look at that. So we're gonna take a look here. You can see. It's grimy. It's clogged up. You got all that grit and sediment in there. Let's go ahead and bang that out of there. I think that just pops right off, so. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out with some water. Look at all that debris built up in there. One more time, out of this side. And you want it primed as well, so. Here she goes. Go ahead and get down here, put it back together. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do now. One sec. Slide this, make sure all your around the uh, edges are clean so it creates a good seal. I'm just gonna go ahead and Grab our screw and driver. Get this thing mounted up. Make sure you don't cross thread it. It's a brass fitting in there, so just do enough. Don't go crazy. That's nothing but plastic. Cheap trash. Okay. We're gonna throw our hose on there. Now let's fire it up. Okay, power. What I'm gonna do while I'm waiting, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back on here. It's a little 90. Let's fit that back on there. Here she goes. Okay, so now it's gonna fire up here. 
And I think that would conclude this call and video. I'm gonna go ahead and start it up, perform my combustion analysis, obviously, on the other side of that flue vent. Um, and I think we should be good. All right, gang, let me know what you think. It's a pretty quick one, uh, pretty straightforward. Let's just watch it start up, matter of fact. Why not, right? <clears throat> active pressure switch silent no clicking there's your hot surface beautiful and let's rock there she goes You know, this is a pretty grimy crawl space, so that pretty much is what uh, contributes to that type of um, circumstances. So, gee. Okay, Let's pop it in there like such. Go ahead and start. Look at our CO, Let's see what happens. pretty good so far I like that O2 that's in a good range scrape through everything stack temp that's nice undiluted CO 32 parts per million everything is pretty much actually looking really good efficiency 93.2 that's good Combustion air, temperature 64 about. Excess air, beautiful. You usually want that between 40 and 80%. That's gorgeous. CO2, perfect. Seven point, usually want that around six and seven point. Six and eight, maybe percent. Everything's looking good, man. This thing is running beautifully. I'm gonna let that run for a couple more minutes just because. All right, so yeah, it's been running for another probably three, five minutes and everything's stable. Everything's locked in. I'm satisfied with that. Nothing wrong with that. I'm going to stop it. Okay, so we got our manometer here set up. As you guys might have seen, I like to use um, basically tire, like basketball inflator, nip, ball inflator, and I got a little magnets on there. So, I can basically get into any nooks and crannies without really having to, like, check this out. If I don't have my big bit on me, and it's kind of better. I mean, I don't like putting big holes in people's stuff anyway. Just grab me a nice little self-tapper, 5 16th. I only really need quarter inch. I don't even need that big. And I can just take that and boom. So we got supply 0.4, supply temp 122. Check our return. Let's grab that. Same with the return. Obviously, I can literally just go down in here. Sweet gonna be a ooh, 0.65 it's not good whatever we got pretty high static and we can check our gas pressures cool thing about these magnets boom just throw it right on your thing that way you're not losing your stuff check my gas pressures going to be our inlet side here we have on our yeah 122 is locked rock solid mm. 
8.23 boom done close her up uh, always make sure don't forget to close those up it's going to be a pretty major mistake if you ever make it three point seven eight point three three point seven eight point three three point seven so that's good both closed we're just gonna quickly check our amp drawer check our amp drawers and we will be good to go got our return temperature 69 so far check our amps here so five total remember I told you about subtracting the inducer I'm not gonna even do that I'll just subtract it manually no matter of fact let's do it so we got five total I don't like the way this is set in here to be honest with you. Here's our inducer. 0.4. And if you take them both within the clamp draw, it'll basically subtract one from the other. Five. I'm gonna take the white. 5.6. Uh, 4.6. So we're going to say about 4.2. Sorry, blower. And that's it, gang. Check our flame sensor. We'll be good to go. Thanks for watching.